In depth here tonight, we continue our network wide coverage of the environment, our planet. Last night, we looked at wind power. Tonight, it's waves. Our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson, has our report. Oceans cover three quarters of the Earth's surface, and harnessing their power could help navigate our way to energy independence. Four miles off the New Jersey coast, this buoy is an actual floating power plant. Heading down underneath. Divers connect the buoy to an underwater cable. As it bounces up and down with the waves, its energy generates electricity. Our system is unique in the sense that we are able to tune it to the actual wave. And during the beginning of the wave, the computer adjusts the system to extract the maximum energy. This buoy generates enough power for 40 homes. The next generation will produce four times as much. Wave farms of 10 buoys are planned for Spain, Scotland, and Oregon. If you double the wave height, you get four times the amount of power. In New York's East River, verdant power is looking beneath the surface as well, capturing the tidal flows near the bottom. As there is a current in water, it'll rotate the blaze on our turbines. And that creates the electricity. And that creates electricity. The five turbines work like underwater windmills. Their energy traveling through these cables to power this nearby grocery store. It's a zero emission technology. There's no greenhouse gases involved at all. The only issues that we are dealing with are purely habitat issues. Verdon CEO Ron Smith says the turbines don't hurt the fish, and they have an advantage over less predictable solar and wind systems. Electricity from the flowing water is entirely predictable because you know when it's going to be there. They know the ebb and flow of the tides but the current was unexpectedly strong and broke the first two groups of turbines. But it's the potential that generates the excitement. The Electric Power Research Institute says these systems could, by the year 2025, create up to 10,000 megawatts of electricity. That's enough to power the entire state of Massachusetts. Across the country, Pacific Gas and Electric has its eye on San Francisco Bay. I think the bay holds a lot of promise. PG&E Vice President Fong Wan foresees going underneath the Golden Gate Bridge and placing a system at the bottom of the channel. I would describe tidal energy as being very similar to wind energy of 30 years ago. Back then, people thought wind energy was, you know, a little far out there, but look at today. It's one of the greatest renewable energy technology we have throughout the world. New ways to make the most of our abundant natural resources to power the not-so-distant future. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.